Aloha, Scroll Talkers. Um, when it asked, or said, send me a message on Twitter. Would love to learn more about your vision for Scroll. He's also building a programming language for AI, but from a different angle. Um, all right, so what is the vision for Scroll? Scroll really was discovered accidentally. Um, and um, originally, um, I discovered it accidentally in like, whew, what year was it? 2011, about um, 12 years ago, maybe. Um, originally called it Note for Natural Object Text Encoding, and then renamed it to Space, and then renamed it to Tree Notation, and then finally renamed it to, to Particles and specifically the particles, parsers, and scrolls stack, the PPS stack. And the discovery was just that you never needed syntax ever in programming. And yet, of course, all our programming languages are loaded with syntax. Um, that the discovery was there was actually a way to do everything without syntax. You only needed three rules. Um... Now we formalize that into an equation, PT cry, um, where is it, where is the PT cry, equation about syntax potential, so P equals T to the C to the R to the I, those rules, um, this equation kind of explains why you never need syntax. Because basically, all the programs you can make, um, this 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 gives you how many programs you can make, given um, which is obviously a vast number of programs. It's it's um, anyway. So by simplifying our languages, we put we we rely less on syntax. We rely more on semantics and we allow ourselves to build a huge variety of simple composable semantic parsers um, using a minimal number of strokes of, of characters of tokens um, so it's really a extremely efficient language the most efficient ever created um, you know it's so binary of course is binary of course is just so important and this is kind of builds on top of binary this is kind of the missing link between say binary and human language because this gives us abstraction um, the, the PPS stack so um, so, sorry, to go back to the question, what is the vision? Vision for scroll. Really, it started as a discovery. And, um, I, you know, I'm not actually the first to have discovered this. Lisp programmers, there was a guy uh, and um, Here we go. Where is his name? Um, uh, Eagle Moeller created um, I expressions um, with equal descriptive power as X expressions. So he kind of figured that out too. I don't think he he realized the importance of this uh, and and didn't, but, um, but it's a very important consequential idea. Um, and now with AI, it becomes incredibly important because, hey, we've basically, there's this new thing that's writing code. There's this new intelligence that's writing code. And what language is it going to want to use? Well, it's not tied to the baggage of the past. So it could really, really make an objective 
choice here. And of course, it's, it's going to want to use the language that minimizes energy, the, the most efficient language, um, both in writing and in parsing. And um, so it's, it's not going to mess around with syntax. Syntax gives you nothing. Like syntax is just a crutch. You know? Really what, what you want is semantics and new, new, t- new kinds of parsers. It's all about the parsers. And you want a large collection of parsers that can compose and assemble with each other. Um, and you want dimensionality to your to your language. You do not want to have to traverse a single one-dimensional linear string that doesn't parallelize. You want to really be able to parallelize your parsing compilation etc execution so so this is a huge step toward a two-dimensional world of languages and you could go beyond that but anyway so because you do ask for the vision so i am kind of talking about where this could go in the future but this is just bringing us to a two-dimensional it's new style of language uh radically changes the game we're talking orders of magnitude at least one order of magnitude paradigm shift because you basically have parallel parsing of particles at a vast scale it could really do some incredible things with it um uh let's let's ground ourselves more in the present um what is the vision for scroll? This is gonna first. It's gonna take over the web. Um, I think the scroll should be bigger than the web by 2030 or so. Um, web forms are all gonna be done in scroll. Jeez, <sighs> oh, blockchains, um, APIs. Yeah, so many things are gonna switch over. So it's going to be real, it's going to allow people to do a lot more with a lot less. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, um, but really, you know, I'm just kind of a platform builder in terms of what people do with it. It's up to them. Um, and, and I will, I will focus my efforts and energies and I'm building the, the next pieces in the platform that people need to get the world change that they want to see happen. All right. I don't know if that answers your question. Thanks. Interesting question. Cheers.